was most impressive. Thanks. Let's wrap this guy up. Welcome to Watch Mojo. And today, we're counting down our picks for the top 20 special Power Rangers. Listen and learn, Brickneck. I'm not just any ranger. For this list, we'll be looking at the extra heroes that added a little extra firepower to their respective teams. We're including 6th rangers and other exceptional players that came in after a season's core team had been established. Who is your favorite special ranger? Let us know in the comments. Hey Mojoholics! For a chance to win cash prizes, play our live daily trivia challenges every day at 3 p.m. and 8 p.m. Eastern only at watchmojo.com slash play. Number 20, Phantom Ranger, Power Rangers Turbo. There he is. I, I can see him. But why is he hiding from us? Halfway through Turbo, a mysterious figure known as the Phantom Ranger arrived on Earth from the planet Eltar. With his combative skills and invisibility powers, he was a much appreciated ally for the Rangers. The Phantom Ranger even formed a small romantic connection with Pink Ranger Cassie. Outside of his social connections, he had an interesting mechanic. Since the source of his power was a ruby on his chest, his life force slowly drained away if it was removed. There were actually plans to reveal the Phantom Ranger's identity in the show, but that never came to fruition. The Boom Studios comics expanded on his character and gave him more history with the Ranger legacy for those who loved this extra teammate. I don't know who you are or why you're here, but thanks for all your help today. Number 19, Aiden Romero, aka Levi Weston, Power Rangers Ninja Steel, and Power Rangers Super Ninja Steel. You're messing with the wrong cowboy, partner. And you're messing with the wrong monster! Gold Ninja! Power Star! Lock it! When we first met the mysterious Gold Ranger, he turned out to be famed country western star Levi Weston. He was abducted by Madame Odious when he found the Gold Power Star and eventually escaped. However, there was more to his story that even he didn't know. It turned out that he was also Red Ranger Brody's missing brother, Aiden. The Gold Ranger didn't remember because the evil Odious had stolen the memories of his family. But when he and his brother finally reunited, there wasn't a dry eye in the house. Brody, I remember now. I remember it all. It's you. You're my brother. Yeah. Overall, Levi was an all-around charming singer who was willing to put his ranger duties before his music career. Number 18, Lian Bo, Power Rangers Mystic Force. Let me get this straight. Leonbo was Korag, and Korag was Leonbo, and one of them, or both of them, just saved our lives. No. Decades ago, Leonbo was the virtuous and courageous leader of the Mystic Wizards who protected the Earth against the Morlocks. At the end of the battle, he was presumed dead, but he was actually cursed into becoming Korag the Nightwolf. While he had no memory of his former life, Leonbo's sense of honor remained with his new form. Once he broke away from his corruption, he fought alongside the Mystic Force Rangers as the Wolf Warrior. Yeah. Ah. Ah. Burning Heart of Fire! Wolf Warrior! Defender of Truth! Evil Special Rangers are nothing new for this franchise, but the fascinating journey of a warrior who remained honorable even when they went rogue was truly remarkable. Number 17, Ties on Tie, Power Rangers Operation Overdrive. Years ago, Tizon was part of a rescue team on the planet Mercuria. Unfortunately, most of his team was destroyed by a mining ambush. He was turned into a monster and forced into servitude against his will. Thankfully, the rangers cured him and he eventually joined them as the Mercury Ranger. Tizon! I won't allow you or anyone else to terrorize this planet. I'm a rescuer and a power ranger. Ty's survivor guilt made him hesitant to be part of a team again. But as he grew closer to the Rangers, he became more eager to learn more about them. Ty also trusted his new friends so much that they helped him heal his heart and mental scars. Best of all, his new Ranger abilities allowed him to take his role as a rescuer to new heights. Feels good! Go, Tyson! Yeah! Number 16, Antonio Garcia, Power Ranger Samurai and Power Ranger Super Samurai. Unlike Jaden and his team, Antonio wasn't born into the life of a samurai. He was Jaden's childhood friend 
and grew up to be a charismatic fisherman. Antonio trained himself up and eventually made a big entrance as the Gold Samurai Ranger. Samurai Marker! Gold Power! While Jaden is serious and subdued, Antonio is lively and confident, which perfectly fits his lightning fast fighting techniques. While some may look down on him for not being a true samurai, they clearly forgot that he trained hard to hold his own on the battlefield. He's also an expert tech whiz who built his own morpher and even programmed two zords. Antonio is proof that you don't need formal training to be a hero and a samurai. If that was too fast for you, here's an instant replay. <laughs> Number 15, Daggeron, Power Rangers Mystic Force. Remember the story of the Frog Prince? Well, what if instead of a prince, you got a sixth ranger when you kissed the frog? Years ago, Daggeron was part of the ancient mystics as a benevolent knight, but he was betrayed by an ally and turned into a frog. Years later, when his curse was broken, he resumed his duties as the Solaris Knight. Let's do this the easy way. And you're next. Daggeron became almost a second mentor to the Rangers. While he can be strict, he only desires to see his new allies reach their full potential. Add to it, he probably has the coolest gear in his arsenal. Daggeron has a magical train as a Megazord. How cool is that? Let's get him! <laughs> Number 14, Steel Silva, Power Rangers Beast Morphers. Originally, Nate was forced to make a robot to host Evox. Thanks to his tinkering, the robot absorbed human and beetle DNA and became the Silver Grid Battle Force Ranger. Steel can be pretty vain and self-obsessed, but he's also honest and noble. Steel's also the big brother figure Nate always wanted. His biggest arc throughout Beast Morphers was his wanting to be human. He even sang a huge musical number about it. People say I was a very gorgeous robot, but now I've got great teeth and hair. In the final battle, Steel's wish was granted when he heroically sacrificed himself and was miraculously revived fully human. He even became a movie star. Even if he wasn't born organically, Steel's willpower was just as authentic as any humans. Steel, red alert. You're needed back at the base. Okay. Where's my stunt double? Number 13, Sir Ivan of Xandar. Power Rangers Dino Charge, and Power Rangers Dino Supercharge. I'm a knight of Xandar. When I pledge my loyalty, it is for life. Centuries ago, Sir Ivan was a virtuous knight of Xandar. One day, he discovered the gold Energem and came into conflict with the monstrous general, Fury. He became trapped within Fury's body for 800 years before finally escaping in modern times. Ivan was then ready to face his captor as the Gold Dino Charge Ranger. Being literally ahead of his time, Ivan has more than enough difficulty trying to adjust to the modern era, but his knighthood shines through and through. Ivan's courageous, chivalrous, and more than dedicated to aiding his fellow rangers with a little dramatic flair. After the final battle, he returned to his original time period but Ivan would gladly return to the present whenever he is needed. And as I said, a knight's loyalty is forever. I'm honored to be part of your team. Number 12, Gem and Gemma, Power Rangers RPM. When Dr. K was abducted by Alphabet Soup, she met a pair of twins named Gem and Gemma. Although she was cold and distant with them, the two still saw her as a friend and even helped her escape the facility. They disappeared for several years before finally returning as the Gold and Silver Rangers. The two can act childish and reckless, earning them the nickname the Boom Twins. Listen to me. If we plan to triangulate our fire, then we then can- it's boom what? time! No. <laughs> Gemma, wait! But their loyalty to their team and Dr. K is unquestioned, even though their methods can get a little messy. Seeing them get deleted in the penultimate episode was heart-wrenching. Fortunately, they return triumphantly in the finale to show the evil Vengex what happens when you mess with the Boom Twins. Hey guys! <laughs> yeah! Gem. Gemma! Number 11, Zane, Power Rangers in Space. While Andros is the serious type, there was only one person who could make him laugh, Zane, the Silver Ranger. 
Whatever it is you just said, I'm gonna make you eat your words. Years ago, Zane fought alongside Andros as his best friend. However, he was mortally injured and kept in a cryogenic tube, becoming a symbol of the risks of being a ranger. Luckily, he was awoken two years later, ready to fight again after fixing his morpher glitch. Here goes nothing. <laughs> Though he's a little cocky, Zane's dependability is unquestioned, and he is more than ready to aid anyone in need, sometimes through more unorthodox means. Unfortunately, Zane teaches us another lesson of value, the risks of dating your team's arch nemesis. Number 10, Ryan Mitchell, Power Rangers Lightspeed Rescue. Who are you? I'm your worst nightmare. To save his life, Captain Mitchell reluctantly allowed Diabolico to take his only son, Ryan, never to be seen until his 20th birthday. Raised by Diabolico's lies, Ryan stole a prototype morpher and became the very first US exclusive ranger, the Titanium Ranger. Much like another famous sixth ranger, Ryan returned to the light as a loyal ally, even overcoming one of Diabolico's deadly curses. Due to the lack of Sentai footage, Ryan couldn't fight as much after his introduction, but he made himself useful while he was away, gathering information to help defeat the demons before joining in the final fight. Number 9. Robert R.J. James, Power Rangers Jungle Fury At first glance, R.J. doesn't seem like your typical mentor. You're him. You're a master. Oh, uh, just um, call me RJ. Now, my students, the real journey begins. He's a laid-back surfer dude who owns a pizza parlor. But when you see him in action during a fight, you'll see how he more than earned his stripes. While RJ's teaching methods are unorthodox, they're effective. And he brings his A-game even more as the Jungle Fury Wolf Ranger. Along with being the series' very first Purple Ranger, RJ sends the bad guys running with his kickboxing style combat. He certainly wasn't the jungle master anyone expected. However, the Rangers are very fortunate to have RJ in their corner, whether he's helping them grow through his wisdom or fighting right beside them. Wolf Warfer! <laughs> Number 8 Merrick Balaton, Power Rangers Wild Force. 3,000 years ago, Merrick was an ancient warrior sworn to protect Princess Shayla. He helped win the war, but he was cursed to become the Duke Org, Zenaku. He put the Rangers through the ringer in the present day before they finally helped free him from the curse. After that, Merrick vowed to atone for his misdeeds and was given the chance to do so as the Lunar Wolf Ranger. Sniper mode! It's time to get the crystals back! <laughs> While the Rangers are happy to have him, Merrick prefers to keep to himself, a lone wolf through and through. Despite his loner attitude, Merrick is dedicated to the cause of protecting the Earth from the orcs and will happily fight beside the other Rangers to make it happen. Being a team player doesn't mean we always have to be with each other. When you need me, the wind will let me know. Number 7. Cameron Cam Watanabe, Power Rangers Ninja Storm. Cam is Sensei Kanoi's son, a snarky technical genius that built the Rangers' gadgets, including the Zords and vehicles. These are your Power Ranger Wind Morphers. He gave them a hard time at first, since his overprotective father wouldn't let him be a Ranger, even though he has the skills. However, when the other Rangers lost their powers, he traveled to the past to retrieve the Samurai Amulet. The Samurai Amulet has found its rightful owner. But this is yours. I can't take this. You must. It's why you came here, isn't it? This not only restored their powers, but also granted Cam the powers of the Green Samurai Ranger. Since then, his relationship with his fellow Rangers improved greatly, and he even made his own cyber clone to help run the dojo, allowing Cam to take his rightful place fighting on the battlefield. Number 6, Trent Fernandez Mercer, Power Rangers Dino Thunder. Don't come any closer. You'll force me to do something I don't want to do. Not unlike Tommy's origin, Trent was the new kid in Reefside and the adopted son of Anton Mercer, 
the human half of the evil Mezagog. An artist by trade, he dreamt of being a superhero. Unfortunately, the wild white dino gem granted him his wish. Why do we have to fight at all? We're both rangers. You're good, I'm evil. It's a pretty simple concept. Trapped as the evil white ranger and slowly corrupted by the gem, he became one of the ranger's most deadly foes, until Dr. Mercer helped set him free. He kept his father's Jekyll Hyde situation a secret from the others, adding on to the ranger's trust issues. But he's a true teammate who just wanted to save his father from his monstrous half. This isn't finished. Losers can't be choosers, Zeltrax. Number 5. Michael Mike Corbett Power Rangers Lost Galaxy Leo's brother Mike was the one who pulled the red quasar saber, but he passed it on to Leo when he fell to his supposed death in a chasm. No! Leo! Fortunately, he was saved by the Magna Defender spirit, who used his body as a host. When the warrior sacrificed himself, Mike was set free, and later given the tools to become the new Magna Defender. This is unbelievable! Mike can be protective of his little brother, but he wouldn't have given him the saber for nothing. He may come off as a goody-goody boy scout, but he's willing to do anything to protect his colony and friends, including giving up his powers. Mike! Leo! No! Number 4. Eric Myers, Power Rangers, Time Force Eric was a former prep school classmate of Wes's, but he was bitter about his friend's success when he had nothing. You had the money, all the right friends, but you didn't know how to use them to your advantage. Jealousy drove him to try and outshine Wes, eventually becoming captain of the Silver Guardians and then the Quantum Ranger. His stubbornness didn't help him as a team player, but it did show his ambition to prove himself all on his own, making him the perfect anti-hero ranger. Near the end, he finally managed to let go of his pride and reconcile with Wes, the two of them becoming joint leaders of the Silver Guardians. However, he still leaves a troubling first impression with others. Just ask the Wild Force Rangers. Hey! You're the one who gave me a ticket this morning! Number 3. Jason Lee Scott, Power Ranger Zeo there were plenty of red herrings for the Gold Ranger's true identity, but he revealed himself as Trey of Triforia. Okay, now it's my turn! Unfortunately, Trey was split into three and couldn't wield the Gold Ranger powers, so they transferred the powers to someone just as worthy, the original Red Ranger himself, Jason. May they aid and protect you in the future. Thank you for trusting me with it. The roles from the first season became reversed, now Tommy was the Red Ranger slash leader, while Jason became the Sixth Ranger. The one thing that'll never change, Jason is still a dedicated Ranger, ready to take charge when needed, and never giving up. Sadly, like when Tommy first lost his powers, Jason had to return his to Trey in the finale or lose his life. No matter what happens, man, we'll always be friends. I know. Number 2. Anubis Doggy Kruger Power Rangers SPD Commander Kruger is the head of the SPD Delta base. He may run a tight ship, but he has a vulnerable side, often haunted by the day his home planet was destroyed by Grum's forces. Though he vowed never to pick up his sword again, an enemy from the past forces his hand. Using the morpher Cat Manx made him, he joins the fight as the SPD Shadow Ranger. This is what you get for messing with SPD. Fire! Don't ask us how he fits his muzzle in that helmet. Even though he's a formidable fighter and an expert swordsman, he firmly believes that no one ranger is more important. Teamwork is the ultimate strategy to bring justice throughout the universe. Now they match. You pay for this, Kruger! Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Dr. Thomas Tommy Oliver, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers and Power Rangers Dino Thunder. Taking the number one spot is the legend himself. Long live Empress Rita! Tommy began his long ranger career as the new kid in town, brainwashed by Rita to become her evil green ranger. When the spell was broken, he became a dependable teammate, even after losing his powers more than once. 
However, Tommy would later make a rebound as the White Ranger slash leader of the pack before taking the reins as two Red Rangers. Guess who's back? Several years later, he'd be back in black as the Dino Thunder's team mentor. Aren't you a little old for this, Tommy? I may be old, but I can still pull it off. It's hard to top the Ranger that's done it all. But no matter the color, no matter how many times he retires, Tommy is living proof that once a ranger, always a ranger. Even with his actor's tragic passing in 2022, the legacy of the greatest ranger of all time shall live on. You don't have to do it alone this time. We're here to fight by your side. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.